So you want to start by finding yourself an old purse, and I found this one in the Salvation Army. It actually took me about three trips before I found a good one that will work for a sling bag, so it might take you a little bit. Once you've got your chosen bag, you just want to get yourself some Pellon or some Craft Foam, and you'll cut out basically a rectangle with curved edges, and you want the bottom to be slightly wider than the top. And you'll cut out seven of those in all. And they're going to kind of make a curved shape. And then they'll go right up around one edge of the sling bag. But before you put them around the sling bag, you want to get yourself some distressed material. And you'll lay your pellon out on that. And cut and out round around it from the distressed material. And then you'll just glue the edges of the distressed material up around the pellon. And what that'll do is it'll give it the illusion of being leather because it looks stiff afterwards with the pellon inside there. So it'll look like a nice little piece of leather. And I'll do that to all seven of the pieces. And then you want to take some kind of an old strap and you'll cut a horizontal line in each of your little rectangles, just big enough for your strap to go through. Then you just kind of weave your strap up through the slits in all of your rectangles. You want your rectangles to overlap just a little bit. So just like that. And then you'll take some gold paper fasteners, take something sharp and drill a hole through two layers, two of the corners of the little rectangles. And then you'll slide one of your paper fasteners through each layer. And then just spread out the tails on the back side. And then you do the same thing on the other side with each of the little rectangles so that you get kind of a curved shape. You want to pull it so it's kind of a curved shape when you're fastening them all. And the paper fasteners will hold them in place. And just cut the excess off of the strap. Lay that out onto your sling bag. Over on the left hand side. And then you'll just hot glue that in place. Again, making sure that the curve follows the curve of the bag. And so then you want to cut a rectangle of some more of that distress material. And it's supposed to kind of look like uh, the flap of the bag is flipped over, but I'm going to kind of fake it here. So just glue the edge, the very edge of the rectangle. You want to glue that down and follow right along the seam of the bag so it looks like it's connected. And then you'll put some glue right along the top edge to keep it from moving around too much. Glue it all the way across. And then you'll just put a little bit of glue on the very edge of that and kind of fold it under itself, again following the seam lines of the bag to make it look like it's all connected and sewn in there. And so then you'll cut a couple of slits and then weave a, another little piece of strap, just a short piece, up through there. It's supposed to kind of look like it's connected to that piece that's woven through your rectangles. But again, just everything on this bag is being faked, so just glue that in place. And then take another piece of strapping and slide two gold paper fasteners through it. And then you'll just take that and you'll put it over on the other side of the bag. So you want to cut a couple of slits over through that fake piece of distressed fabric there. Actually just cut one slit and then you'll run it up through the bottom of that and then you'll drill a couple holes right under where the paper fasteners are and spread the tails of the paper fasteners out on the inside of the bag and that will help hold the strap in place. And then chop the strap off to length and drill a hole through that and through the bag. And then you'll just stick a third paper fastener through the strap and through the bag and spread the tails out the inside and then hold the strap in place. So here's what the bottom of the sling bag looks like so far. And so then because it's a purse the strap is much much too short so I just cut that in half. I kind of like the little circles on it so I left those. Um, and then I just took an old belt and I just cut that open. And then just measured out where the pieces had to be to be the right length for the sling bag. Drilled a couple holes in through the belt. 
And then once I had the holes drilled, I just took some twine and I ran it through the holes in the belt and the holes in the original purse strap, and then I just tied them off on the back side so that I now had the belt tied to the purse straps, which gave me a much, much longer strap so that it would work more as a sling bag. And then because it is a belt, I can loosen or tighten it however I want to to make sure the fit is good. So for the boot jets, you just want to take a rectangle of cardstock and just roll that up into a cylinder. And then just take your hot glue gun, roll a little bit of hot glue along the edge, and fasten that in place. You want to do four of those in all. And so then you can just paint each cylinder either metallic silver or I'm actually using gunmetal gray here. Just like that. And then take your paintbrush and you'll dip half of it in metallic purple paint and the other half in metallic blue paint. And then you'll just be able to paint that double colored line all the way around a little bit from one edge of the cylinder. And while the paint is still wet, just take a napkin and just kind of smudge the paint all the way around so that it blends in a little more with the silver. And then you'll take two rectangles of craft foam, one 2mm and one 3mm. And the 2mm one you'll glue just above that purple and blue line that you painted. And then the 3mm piece you'll glue up at the other end all the way around. And so you'll do that with each of the four jets. And then you'll take two of them, and you're going to glue them together, so you'll put a little bit of hot glue along the top part, the 3mm foam part, and you'll just glue those two pieces together, not quite the same height, you want them off kilter a little bit, and then the other two you'll do off kilter in the other direction, so you'll have one for each boot. And then I did not do the boot covers um, like Starlord had, I just had a pair of brown boots, so I was just going to use those instead, and so just to make things easy, so I just glued the jets right to the side of the boots.